Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for having me here today. Uh, was great, great panelist as well. Uh, and I'm very happy to try to talk about this topic today as well, and trying to share some of my experience, the experience I have from like my my role in helping young people to participate in this in the Syrian peace process and political level, and trying to understand what's mean like an active participation, and relating to this about the education, why education it's important for young people to make them able to participate in a peace process and society in different uh, community action, and from the experience and the thing I'm trying to share it's trying to share experience and stories build it on our work with young people in the Syrian news assembly. And like, uh, and a story always bring me back of the reason why we are here today in the Syrian News Assembly trying to do education and supporting young people accessing higher education and not continue our goal by providing uh, the possibility to participate in the, in the Syrian peace process. In 2016, when we met for the first time uh, in the uh, World Humanitarian Summit in the Youth Forum, and we tried to talk to other young Syrian who's living in Turkey and trying to discuss the topic about having the possibility to participate together in the Syrian peace process, when we start to mobilize more young people to bring them with us on, on a way to participate in the Syrian peace process under the youth peace and security agenda, we find literally no one have an interest in participating in the Syrian peace process. Young people have access to no higher education. Young people have no access to the job market. Young people facing many different challenges in, in society and community, not allow them to take care about democracy, not allow them to take care about peace process or why participating in this process is important today. From this point, we, we find if we need to build the internal peace for those young people, to give them the peace for themselves, we have to provide access to the higher education. We have to, to work on implement on more development for those young people, to try to, to, to work on capacity building for those young people. And in same time, to try to provide them an education can be useful for them to give them a possibility to have a new career today, to access the job market from where they are. To speak as well from my respective as young refugee, where today I'm, I'm, I'm presenting myself as 10 years of being refugee, uh, trying to find a safe space worldwide. Uh, it's a challenge for me when I'm trying to, to, to say, I want to access higher education. I want to continue my education. I want to receive something can help me to find my future. Uh, it's something we face as young people today to access higher education in different refugee country by asking us about the uh, papers. They're asking us about our eligibility to be part of the university. They ask us about a previous experience by the same educational system to be able to access and to study in this university. They, they, they work with us as an international student. We are not, we are a young refugee. We are an international student with special need. And when we try to present this always and to try to talk about the challenge of those young people, it's not easy. And to, to talk about why participation, it's important for us as young people today to talk about this topic because no one really feel the same pain of those young refugee when they are not able to access higher education. When no one feel the same pain of those young refugee when they are not able to find the job they need because they are not good enough qualified and all those with like problems related to each other as one circle the one built on the another and i believe like our participation today to talk about exactly the challenge those young people face it's very important it's important to do an advocacy it's important to do to mention exactly who we are what we are doing and what the challenge we face every day relating to all to all this as well when we when we try to get young people involved being part of the, the educational system and the interest of the educational system, we have to take care as well about the possibility for those young people to be able to access this educational system. Regarding Syria, I'm coming from a country, it is still facing some cultural issue. It means young women may be not allowed to participate with young men in the same workshop because family doesn't allow this, or moving around from space to space, it's not secure enough to make them able to participate. This problem, it's not making young women, for example, today able to participate with the same level how young men able to do this in Syria. And providing access to higher education by different solution can be able to include everyone. It's our responsibility. This is what we try to do in the Syrian News Assembly, when we try to provide an access to higher education online by different platform, by different partnership, because we, we care 
care about those young people, they have to receive the same right. It's being to be equal, receiving the access to higher education for everyone. Uh, Higher education is not a privilege, it's a right, right for everyone today to build the future they want. And this is what we try to fight always for. We don't speak about like something, a privilege for anyone. We speak about the human rights part of education and supporting young people to access this education is their right as young people, the rights as well. Uh, as I said, as how I start my, 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 my sharing this experience, if we need, if you care about having young people and active participation in peace building or in society building, we have to take care about, give them the possibility to have the internal peace first by accessing higher education, by accessing different opportunity, by receiving different scholarship, by supporting all this to make them able and eligible and qualified to participate in, in any political or peaceful work. One of the problems I'm facing since 2017 when I'm trying to push behind young people from Syria, they have to be in Geneva. The, always the question they, they ask us, are you enough qualified to be on a table on a peace process? This is a big question, but this question, big question can be answered by providing to us as young people the, the, the experience and the capacity and the education, the enough education make us possible to participate in this process. This is what we try to do in the Syrian News Assembly. And if I need to share numbers, uh, the numbers I'm going to share related and build it on the online education we, we give since from 2016 until today, we have officially more than 100,000 people get to be benefit from one of our programs. The the program we provide online and this is like just to remember uh, give like to let you remember again doing this online it's more cheaper and more easy to access different community uh, i believe th this is all what i have to share from my experience i hope this is useful for you to help you to understand why it's important and why we have to keep an eye on accessing higher education for young people thank you very much